Hey, welcome back. Uh, this is section two where we will create a custom painter. So we will paint the line um, to get a better visual feedback than this red box with um, just text giving us the values. Um, so to begin with, we can delete this column and we can create a custom paint. So custom paint, we need to give it a painter. Uh, currently we don't have a painter. So we will create a new file, call it wave painter dot dot and class wave painter extends custom paint. And by the magic that is this, we can implement materials dot dot. Uh, sorry, we don't want a custom paint, we want a custom painter. So what we want to do is we want to override these two methods. Method number one is the paint method and the second one is should repaint. Should repaint is just an optimization method, uh, essentially telling the class when to, or telling Flutter when it should repaint um, uh, the, the screen or, and when it shouldn't. Um, for this purposes, we are gonna say return true. We, we always want it to repaint. If you want to optimize it, then um, you would need to do some custom logic to tell it when it should repaint um, and when not to. The paint, uh, as it says, is the actual paint method. This method gets called every time uh, um, a new screen, screen render happens or a new frame happens um, and it paints uh, to this canvas property over here. So to begin with, um, we can create a couple of variables over here, final double slider position and final double drag percentage. And we can also give it a color. Wave painter and let's implement these methods. Perfect. Um, I'm also going to mark this field as required. Same for this one. So next up, what we'd like to do is we would like to create a method called paint anchors. And for this method, we will give it the canvas and the size. And let's call paint anchors canvas size. And what we'd like to do is we want to say canvas dot draw circle. So what this will be is the little anchors at the point here where the line will connect to. Um, the first parameter should be the offset. So this will be the position. Um, we would like the position, the X position to be um, 0, 0.0. So we can create an offset with X value 0, 0.0 and the height equal to size dot height. So as I said before, the position over here is 0, 0.0, 0, 0.0 for the width and height. So this would be 0, 0.0 for the um, X coordinate and size dot height for the Y coordinate. For the radius, we can give it five pixels. And for the paint, we would need to define a paint. So we are gonna create a paint variable over here called this um, fill painter and we will initialize it over here. Full painter, paint, and then a cascade method, color equals the color we defined, style equals painting style, full, and perfect, that's what we want. Um, we don't need that. And instead of paint, we will call this full painter. Perfect. So if we save this, uh, obviously nothing will happen. We haven't implemented this yet. So for the painter, we will say um, wave painter. And then 
we can implement that and we need to give it a couple of values we will say default colors dot black and drag percentage is drag percentage and slider position is the drag position perfect and while we are doing this we will also define a color so we can say final color color let's call it line color no let's just call this color and okay we can initialize this to be colors dot black and color widget dot color save perfect it works so we currently have this issue that it's also painting the container we don't want that okay so this is the the point just out of interest sake let's go back as you can see it's at the 0.0, .0 mark and at the size dot height so let's get rid of this and copy this and we also want an anchor at the size dot width perfect next we will like to create or like to paint a line between these anchor points create a path and then define a path for this line to move so we will initialize this path at the following point uh, 0, 0.0 and size dot height so at the first anchor point next we want the path to create a line to size dot width and size dot height so to create a horizontal line then we want to say canvas dot draw line or draw path we give it the path and we need to give it a paint uh, so we will define another paint method final paint we will call this uh, wave painter and style equals stroke and in the stroke width we can set equal to 2.5 perfect and paint what's this called paint wave painter wave painter and then we will also call this function canvas size perfect okay so for the last bit we would like an uh, additional visual representation of where we're dragging currently we lost that we are just printing to the console um, i'd like to remove that while we are busy because that's taking up unnecessary resources um i guess not not a lot but like might as well um next up is we want to create like a little indicator to tell us where the slider position currently is so we will call this um, paint block this is only temporary we will remove this later um, it's not too important to know what this rec does um, it's literally just telling us where the current slider position is and then it's, it's giving it a size uh, size of 3 on the width and a 10 of the height and uh, we won't see this because we need to call it so paint block canvas size and perfect now we have a draggable point um, I think that's that for this section um, I just want to double check yeah that's it so as you can see we have the beginnings of our custom paint um, this is technically a well, a slider that you can use uh, obviously not a good looking one but um, yeah pretty easy to implement <laughs>